would you say of all the conversions that you've encountered, what would you say would be the, the one or two top conundrums for those outside the church looking in? Oh, well, that's hard to say because there's so many individual problems. Certainly a key for many people is the issue of authority. I deal or have dealt primarily with Protestant Christians. And most of them are coming to me with the presupposition that everything I need to know is in Scripture and on the surface of it. The sola scriptura position. And many of them begin to realize that there are problems with that. There's an insufficiency there. Uh, you find people of other faiths too. I mean, you have, for example, everyone's had a Mormon come to the door. And the Mormon wants to give you the Book of Mormon and asks you to read it. And what does he always say? Read it and then ask God if it's true. And if it's true, he will give you what the Mormons call a burning in the bosom, an interior sense. The Mormons think that's very telling. It's convincing. But if you begin to tell them, if a Muslim comes up to you with the Quran and says the same thing, or anyone of any faith comes up, with the Holy Book and ask the same question. Does that mean if you feel something having read it, that that is true and yet you have a contradictory face? Especially down there in Southern California where you could add some real authentic Mexican food. I mean, that warming in the bosom. It just depends. Yeah. might have been a burrito. On, on what you <laughs> ate rather than what you read. That's right. So you, you, you have that issue. But once you present it that way to people and say, okay, that burning in the bosom or the soul scripture or whatever no longer satisfies I, there's something more solid I need, and that's the issue of authority. Okay. On whom can I rely? You know, how do I know this is true? For a lot of my Protestant friends, it's because the minister said so. Ultimately, that's what it amounts to. And they come to see there's got to be something more. Okay. So I think authority is a big one. It is really, really. In some, I know Father Ryland is a good friend of both of ours. They've often said, really, when it co everything comes down to the issue it of really authority, does. It really does. I mean, you take the issue of purgatory. Okay, we got this opinion on the purgatory and this opinion and this opinion. Well, how are you going to decide which of the three, four, five is true? Right. And say infant baptism. That's a, a hot topic. Well, should infants be baptized or not? And if they are baptized, what, if anything, does baptism do to them? You've got Protestants on all sides of that issue. In fact, I've always, I've joked, I've never done a debate, and I'd probably always stay away from it. But I always, there's the debate I want to do. I will alone debate a Lutheran. Mm -hmm a Baptist, and uh, a, a Salvation Army. Well, that'd be now, on the issue debate. of infant baptism. Because right. <laughs> we get four different opinions. Yeah, and I'll just sit back and let them you know, right. take each other on. That's because right. that's, you know, they would fight as much as they would fight with us. That's, that's right. right. That's right.